In a recent video, I commented on a friend of mine who had gotten into 3D printing, printing exclusively in PLA, but he got an enclosure, completely closed it down every time he printed. Now this worked fine for the smaller prints, but as he was printing a little bit bigger footprint, he was getting lifting on the corners and all sorts of different things. He couldn't figure it out. After talking to me, I realized what was going on, told him to open up the front, flip it over the top. Print started printing a lot better. And the reason is PLA needs cooling. Every layer that goes down needs a very substantial amount of cooling. That's why your fan's at 100% usually on PLA. Well, on PETG, the story is completely different. You want to turn your cooling off have a very stable ambient temperature around your printer as you're printing for the entire print. That's where an enclosure comes in and really makes your print stand out. We reached out to a company recently and asked them about an enclosure because we wanted to be able to show you what it would look like and just give you some ideas of things that you might be able to do a little differently to get good prints. Now this company was willing to send us one of their enclosures for a review. I'm not going to tell you the name, but I will spell it for you. F-N-A-T-R. If you think you know what it is, leave it down in the comments, spell it phonetically. I'll tell you in a little bit. It's a really nice and well thought out enclosure. It fits most Ender 3s or those types of printers. I currently have the Anchor M5C in there and it fits perfectly. It has a lot of great features that goes along with it. I love the plexiglass all the way around and everything just fit together really good. I was able to put it together in about 20, 25 minutes, and that's with me being very meticulous and going through the manual and just checking some stuff out. Now, a couple of features I will point out just because they're really cool is on the top, there's a little thing that you can screw out, and this is where your filament would go through. If you need that, if your filament will fit on the inside, that works too, but if you need it to go through the top, it's an enclosure for the top, so it keeps everything really nice, tight, and keeps your heat in and the cool out. One really nice feature to go along with that is that you can put this on either side at the bottom if you want to put your filament on the outside and just put it on the table instead of on top. I love the fact that it comes with a USB-C port on the side and that powers a fan that keeps your airflow going, not really affecting the temperature, but just providing some air. And it also has a built-in light. One of the biggest reasons to have an enclosure is to cut down on the noise. So the Creality K1 is widely considered to be one of the loudest printers on the market. I've heard a lot of YouTubers talk about how you definitely don't want this one in your bedroom, but uh, I thought I'd give it a try. It fits in there perfectly. I thought I'd test it out. The results were about what I expected. As you can see, the decibel level with the doors open on the Creality K1 is around 59, 60 decibels. But with the doors closed on the enclosure, to go along with the K1 enclosure, you get down to around 40. So there is a definite decrease in volume. So let's try it out while the whole thing is running and going through a print. Well, during a print, as you can see, we get up into the upper 70s, sometimes crossing 80, especially with that extra cooling fan. Actually kicked it up at times over 90. But then when we close our new enclosure around it as well, we get a big decrease just like before. And I think that's really good for an enclosure like this. It's not only going to help you maintain a constant temperature, but it's going to decrease any type of 3D printer that you're able to get in there. If you have any questions about things like this that you would like to know, drop us a comment and we'll see if we can get to it. I'm Eric. Thanks for watching me in the 3D Printing Zone.